Hi, I'm David Himmel, owner of Himmel Brothers Leather. Essentially, Himmel Brothers Leather was more of a dream when it first started. I used to be a high-end dealer of rare vintage clothing to the mostly Japanese market in the 90s. We were dealing a lot of vintage clothing because Toronto was the mecca of supply of vintage clothing on the planet. We have more rag factories and sources of vintage clothing here than anywhere else in North America. I being a former punk rock guy, I had a particular affinity for my leather jacket. So in the 2000s, Rin Tanaka published this book, Motorcycle Jackets, A Century of Leather Design. I went through this book and I knew all the dealers who he had borrowed the jackets from because I had sold many of them, some of the jackets in this book. And I was like, my God, what have I done? I want to own every jacket in this book and I've sold off these amazing jackets. I never thought about making jackets. I would find the owners of the companies that made the jackets, would call them up and ask them about their manufacturing, who designed the jackets, how did they make the jackets, why did they make the jackets. And after a few years of doing that, I had compiled this massive archive of leather jackets and knowledge about jackets but I had no means to share it with anybody. So in 2007, opened a WordPress blog called The Art of Vintage Leather Jackets. Other guys who had started blogs in that year also started emailing me. Hey David, I've got this jacket, what is it? Hey David, would you be interested in helping us design a jacket? And it sort of fired up the idea that uh, someone's gonna be making these jackets one day. Could be me. So, I said, well, I think it's time to make Himmel Brothers Leather then. Two years of research, research in sewing techniques, two years in materials research. I had to track down the most authentic recreation of what I consider the most durable and most common leather that was used in leather jackets. And then up until the 60s, that was horsehide. And the two best horsehide tanneries in the world are in Japan and in Chicago, Horween and Shinki. Shinki makes a superlative leather. For my thread, I tracked down one of the last US thread makers that makes 100% cotton thread. To sew with that thread, you have to develop a whole new set of techniques because that thread will break if you go fast. I tracked down liners from Japan. For buttons, I tracked down old stock malamine buttons made before World War II. I got zippers that were replicated in Japan that are identical copies of 1930s, 40s, and 50s zippers. And I wanted that authenticity regardless of the price. So we basically recreated the process of making these jackets, the design of making these jackets, and the materials of making these jackets. And my goal was, I'm not going to replicate jackets, I'm going to do original designs, I'm going to update the designs, I'm going to update materials, I'm going to make jackets that could possibly look like they came from that era, but they were interesting new ideas and combinations that were never made. And that's the design philosophy behind the Himmel Brothers jackets.